Hi, Wyatt. Another great um, Robert Munch book called Moving Day. I haven't read it. Let's read it now. Let's see how good it is. On Moving Day, Daniel's mother and father were running around and putting everything into boxes. Her dad was yelling, the moving truck is coming, the moving truck is coming. Her mom was yelling, the boxes, in the boxes, everything in boxes. <laughs> Danielle was standing in the middle of the living room, wondering what to do. Her mother said, Danielle, don't just stand there, do something, pack something, take care of the little kids, take care of your little sister. Okay, said Danielle. Julianne was playing in her bedroom. Danielle picked her up and put her in a box with some pillows and taped it all around. <laughs> her mother came by and said, Danielle, did you take care of your little sister? Oh, definitely taken care of, said Danielle. Good, well, do something else. Take care of your little brother. Right, said Danielle. I wonder what she's gonna do. She went and found her brother and said, how are you doing, Christopher? I'm doing fine, said Christopher. Good, said Danielle. She picked him up and put him in another box with some blankets. She packed towels all around and taped it up. Her mother came by and said, Oh, Danielle, you're being so quiet and so nice. Have you taken care of Julianne and Christopher? Oh, yes, said Danielle. I've taken care of them just fine. Good, said her mother. Well, pack something else up. Go help Lauren. So Danielle went up to Lauren's room. She pushed Lauren into a box of stuffed animals, covered her up with toys and taped it all over. Then Danielle went to her mom and said, I'm done with Lauren, what should I do now? Go help Ryland, said her mom. So Danielle went into Ryland's room. Ryland was standing in the middle singing. Now that's useful, said Danielle, and she pushed Ryland into a box of sweaters. Ryland said all kinds of horrible things, and Danielle didn't say anything. Finally, the truck came and the movers were taking out the boxes. Danielle's mother said, Danielle, you're being so quiet. And all the other kids are being so quiet. You did a wonderful job with them. Where are they? In the boxes, said Danielle. I, I uh, packed them in boxes and taped them all up. Oh no, said her mother. We have to stop and get them out. Oh, said mom. But her dad said, wait a minute, the moving truck is here and we can't stop. We'll get them out at the other end. Oh. So they jumped into the car and followed the truck down the road. They got all the boxes and piled them up. Danielle's mom and dad looked at the boxes and said, so where are they? Well, said Danielle, You've just got to listen. She put her ear to one box and heard, la, 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 la. And she said, that's Julian. She's in here. She's singing. Her mom opened the box and Julian was fine. Danielle listened to another box and heard, thumpity, thump, 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 thumpity, thump, thump. She said, oh, that must be Christopher. He's kicking. Her dad opened the box and Christopher was fine. Danielle listened to another box and heard zzz, zzz, zzz. She said, that's Lauren, she's sleeping. Her mother opened the box and Lauren was fine. Danielle listened to another box and heard someone yelling, I'm going to get you, I'm going to make you pay. And she said, that's Rylan, he's mad about something. Her father opened the box and Rylan was fine. And her parents had lots of time to unpack because a little kid spent the next three days chasing Danielle, trying to make her pay. <laughs> that was good. Love you. Good night.